Hello, and welcome to Building with AppSheet. I'm Chris Bailey, a product marketing manager at Google. And in this video, I'll show you how to build an inspection app from a Google Sheet. I'll show how to set up your data in Sheets, how to customize a form by defining your data in AppSheet, and how to create custom views in your app. Before we jump into it, let's look at the app we'll be building. I've set it up as a vehicle inspection app, but you can easily modify it for whatever inspection you'd like such as equipment, job site, facility, or inventory inspections. The app has three main views. A vehicle view, which lets me see the vehicles in my fleet. An inspections view, that shows all our inspections. And if I select the plus here, we can access our vehicle inspection form. In this form, I can select the vehicle we'll be inspecting, add current mileage, add pictures of the vehicle with any annotations I'd like to add, then, along the top of the report, I've added sections for fluids, filters, tires, and a final completion check, which lets me add notes, additional documents, and a signature. If you'd like to copy and customize the completed app, I've linked to it in the description below. And with that, let's build our app. To create our app, we'll first want to set up our data. I've set up two tables in a Google Sheet. The first is an inspection table, and I've added a column for each question on my inspection form, along with a few columns that have no data and will be used as section headers on our form. More on that later. The second table is for our vehicles, where I've listed out their basic data and a picture. To turn this sheet into an app, we can go to Tools, App Sheet, Create an App, and App Sheet is going to read our data and create a prototype for our app. All right, we've now landed in the AppSheet editor and we can see our app prototype here on the right. AppSheet has only added one of our tables to this app, so let's go to Data, Tables, and add our other table. Now, for our app to run properly, we have to tell AppSheet how it should interpret and interact with our data. To do that, we're going to go to Data, Columns, and if we click on Inspections, we'll see all of the columns from our spreadsheet listed out as rows here. If you scroll over, you'll see a bunch of specifications we can adjust that will change how AppSheet will interpret and use this data. Defining what type of data is in each of these columns is especially important for our inspection form. For example, if we open up a form to create a new inspection in our app preview, we'll see that right now, we have to manually enter the email of whoever is inspecting the vehicle. Now, I'd rather this happen automatically, and I don't think the inspector needs to see this as they're filling out this form. So for my inspector column, I'm going to uncheck show and set its initial value to user email, which is an expression that tells AppSheet to automatically use the email of whoever is logged into the app. Now we can see in our inspection form that the inspector field no longer appears here. And every time someone starts a new form, it will automatically update this column in your spreadsheet with their email. Now let's define the rest of our columns. For the inspection form column, uncheck editable, then click on the pencil on the right to access its advanced options and change the column type to show. This is one of the columns in our sheet that has no data. We did that so that we can set it as a page header in our form. So change category to page header and for content, let's type vehicle inspection. And let's do the same thing for the fluids column. Filters column. Tires column and complete column. Next, for the ID column, 
Let's uncheck label and show so it doesn't show up on the form and make sure the initial value is set as unique ID. For date time, let's make sure its initial value is set to now and let's uncheck required. We'll set location's initial value to here so that it tags your location when you create a new inspection. And we'll uncheck show and required. For vehicle, AppSheet should have automatically set it to reference the vehicles table. Let's check the label box and uncheck required. Odometer reading will leave as number and uncheck required. For our image columns, We'll change the type to drawing, which will let you add annotations to the images after you take them. And we'll make sure required and label are unchecked for all of these. For dashboard, we'll click on the pencil and let's set type to enum list, which essentially lets the inspector select more than one option from a multiple choice list. And for values, let's add in the dashboard alerts we could see on a car. For engine oil, let's click on the pencil, change the type to enum, which means it'll show multiple choice values where only one option can be selected and add in these values. Okay. Requires attention. Future attention. And NA. Then we'll change input mode to buttons and select done. You'll want to repeat these changes for all of the columns in the fluids, filters, and tires sections. Feel free to pause this video while you do that and resume it once you're done. All right, we've updated most of our columns and we have just a couple left in our last section, complete. Here, let's set notes to long text and uncheck required. Leave additional images as images, set attachments to file, for status, let's click on the pencil and select enum and add past, failed, and in progress as the values and set input mode as buttons. Then we'll open up the auto compute options and set initial value as in progress so that anytime a new form is created, the status will automatically be set to in progress. Then we'll set signature to signature. Next, let's create two additional virtual columns. A virtual column is a column that shows up within the app sheet editor and not on your spreadsheet. Scroll to the top and click on add virtual column. We'll call the first column vehicle photo and use this formula vehicle.photo each word in brackets, which is essentially telling AppSheet to pull the photo of your vehicles from the vehicles table. The second column, let's call it date and use the formula date and within brackets, date slash time. Once you save it, you may receive a couple info messages. This is nothing to worry about. It just means that AppSheet had to make some automatic changes to your columns in order to accommodate the changes you made. Now to finish customizing your form. Open up a new inspection form in your app preview, then click on the hyperlink underneath your app preview that says view inspections underscore form and AppSheet will open up your view options within the UX section of the editor. Set the page style to tabs and hit save one more time. 
Now your inspection form should be updated to show each of your sections listed out as tabs along the top of the form. Now let's make our vehicles view. Let's jump back into data, columns, and make the following changes to the columns in the vehicles table. Unselect any columns that are marked as label, then add a virtual column called label, and add this formula Set the column type to text. And choose this new column to be your label. Save it. Then let's go to UX Views and select New View. We'll call this view Vehicles. We'll select Vehicles to be our data. We'll select card view, then go down to layout and select photo, then choose license plate as our title and label as our subtitle. We'll click on the image icon to the left and adjust the fit to contain and the shape to a rectangle. Then we'll open up the display options and select a vehicle for our icon. The final view we'll make is an inspection view, which AppSheet has already started. Go to UX Views Inspections. Scroll down to View Options and for Sort By, select Date slash Time, Descending. And for Group By, select Date, Descending. For main image, we'll select vehicle photo, set the primary header to auto and the secondary header to auto. And in the summary column, we'll select status. For image shape, select full photo, deselect show action bar. And for our icon, I'll type checklist and choose this. For me, AppSheet also created a map view, which I don't really want, so I'll scroll to the top of views and delete it. All right, you should now have a working inspection app. From here, feel free to customize the look and feel using UX, brand, and format rules. Share your app by going to users and adding their emails. Deploying your app in the manage section and creating automated reports and alerts in the automation section. For more information on Google Cloud, Google Workspace, and AppSheet, check out these links below. Thanks for watching and happy app building!